In this video, I'm going to be showing you what you should be bidding on your Amazon keywords inside your Amazon PPC. I'm Dr. Travis Ziegler. In the next five to 10 minutes, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to figure out exactly what you should be bidding for your Amazon keywords inside your Amazon PPC campaigns. I'm also going to show you some strategies that I use to determine what keywords I'm going to shut off, what keywords I'm going to turn on, because it all goes back with Amazon PPC, it all goes back to the 80-20 principle that we've talked about in videos before. 20% of your keywords are gonna produce 80% of your sales and results. And so what we wanna do is we wanna focus our time, our effort, our energy, and our finances and our budget on those 20% of keywords that produce 80% of your sales. The other keywords that are in your Amazon PPC are making one to two sales maybe every 30 days. Those aren't serving you. They're not doing anything for your product. And so let's shut them down and get rid of them. And especially if they're not profitable, we're definitely gonna shut them down, which is what we're gonna do in this video. So what I'm gonna show you is we're gonna download a bulk download inside Amazon PPC's campaign manager. We're then gonna organize it. Once we organize it, we're gonna categorize it into three different sections pause keywords, so keywords that we're gonna pause, and then keywords that we're gonna move around and put a bid cap on. When we put a bid cap on a keyword, that essentially just means that we know the exact maximum cost per click that we can bid on it to make a profitable sale, and that's because we've calculated it in the past, but I'm gonna show you how to do it again today. So let me switch over to my screen, and then we'll jump right into the content. Before we jump into the content, this is step seven in my eight week Amazon PPC masterclass. This is an absolute free course. You can actually click down in the description below and that will ask you to put your email in. And once you put your email in, you'll get a new lesson each week for eight straight weeks. And that will teach you exactly how we do Amazon PPC in our business, which does about $3 million per year on Amazon. So click that link in the description below, sign up for my free eight week Amazon PPC masterclass. Again, this is step seven, but if you're not on step seven yet, that doesn't matter because if you already have campaigns running, you can still use this video for what I'm gonna show you today to optimize your keyword bidding inside Amazon PPC. So step one is we wanna go into the campaign area. So what you're gonna do is hit advertising and campaign manager. Once you do that, this screen will come up and then you'll hit bulk operations right up here in the top left corner. Once we have bulk operations pulled up, I'm gonna choose 60 day range, terminated campaigns and campaign items with zero impressions. Once you do that, you're gonna click Create Spreadsheet. Once it's ready, you can see the status down here goes to Download. And so what I'm gonna do is just click that Download button and you see it will pop open and download right here. I'm then gonna open a Google Sheet. So I'm gonna call it just Bulk Download and my company name with the date. And then I'm gonna import that new spreadsheet into this bulk sheet. So I'm gonna to go to New, Import, Upload, Select File from Device, or you can just drag it in from that bar. So what I'm gonna do is just, you can do any of these options since this is a blank spreadsheet. And we'll just pull it in. Once you pull it in, you'll see these three campaigns down here or three sheets down here. The only one I care about is the sponsored products campaign. So I'm just gonna delete the other ones. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna organize and consolidate our bulk downloads report. And so I'm gonna get rid of sections that we don't really need for what we're doing here. And then we're also going to get rid of rows that we don't need as well. So let's get rid of the rows first. We only want record types that are keyword based. And so you can see these other ones right here. So what I'm gonna do is highlight it all by clicking this button right here. Click data, sort range by record type. Click A to Z. Now you can see all these ads right here, ad groups, campaigns, campaign by placement, and then keywords. So I'm gonna actually delete all these. So highlight them all and delete them. And then there might be more at the bottom, so you might want to check the bottom as well. So you can see product targeting is at the bottom, so we're going to delete those too. So we've deleted the rows that we don't need. Now we need to delete the columns that we don't need. So I have a full list of the columns that you don't need in the blog post that's down below. So make sure you click that description, head over to the blog, and it will have a written description of everything I'm going over in this video. So you don't have to worry about taking notes and jotting everything down. Just head over to that blog post. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of record type, campaign ID, campaign daily budget, portfolio ID, campaign start date, campaign end date, campaign targeting type, SKU,
product targeting ID, total units, and then the three last ones right here. So I highlight them all, click right click, and delete selected columns. And finally, we want to delete all these negatives. And so let's highlight everything again, sort range by match type, A to Z, and broad is first. Then we're going to delete all these campaign negative exact and phrase. So you can see that long list has been narrowed down to just about 255 keywords, which is a lot more palatable than it was like when it was thousands of keywords. And I've already done this, this part, but I've actually separated out this campaign to show you just one product. If you have multiple products, I like to separate it into individual sheets. Next, we're going to add three more columns to the right here. And those three columns are going to be called clicks to order, max cost per acquisition, and max CPC. For your clicks per order, it's just simply your clicks divided by your order. So I'm going to click the sum button right here, or the function button. And then we're just going to do clicks divided by orders. Pretty simple. And you're going to represent that as just a normal number. Max CPA is just simply your retail price minus your cost of goods minus your Amazon fees. And that's going to give you a percentage. If you want to see how I figure that out, it's pretty simple. You'll just go to the actual listing. Once you're on the actual listing, you're just going to scroll down here. We're having a sale on that right now, but it's usually $29.97. I use the Helium 10 Chrome extension for this, and you can see that down below. You'll click a link for that. And then I just put our cost per goods. So $17.94 is our maximum cost per acquisition. That's what we can spend to break even. That's going to be a dollar amount. And then your maximum cost per click is simply your max CPA divided by your clicks per order. So let me talk you through this real quick. Essentially what you're doing here is you know that every six clicks you get an order from that. That's just simply the clicks to order ratio. Your max CPA is $17.94. Therefore, we can bid $2.87 because that will cost six clicks at $2.87 equals $17.94. So at $2.87, we will break even on that, that sale. So that's how high we can bid. Now we want to take this Highlight them all and just drag them all the way down to the bottom. So next we're going to do a triple sort. We're going to sort by the ad group status, then the status, and then the ACOS. And what that's going to do is it's going to organize it by ad group that's enabled versus paused, and then keyword that's enabled versus paused, and then it's going to go ACOS highest to lowest. So what we do here is we highlight it all again, go to data, sort range, And this is what it should look like. So we have our keywords organized that are enabled, and we have it organized in order of ACOS highest to lowest. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to know our break-even ACOS because we figured that out before. But break-even ACOS is just simply your max CPA divided by your retail price. So let me just show you that real quick. And so $17.94 divided by $29.97 is 60% ACOS. And so 60% is our breakoff point. And so what we'll do is look at everything over 60% and kind of separate those out. I like to get a nice big space in there. And then these are the, the keywords that we're going to focus on because all these keywords down here are profitable. They're within our target ACOS and they're making sales. So we'll just let them go. And we don't really need to do much with those. You can actually probably delete them at this point. And so let's just take all these and just delete them. And so these are the keywords that we're focusing on. These are keywords that are making sales and they're unprofitable. So we need to make them profitable, number one, and or we need to turn them off. And so next what we're going to do is we're going to organize this by orders. So sort by column M. And once it's sorted, you can see 43, 27, 13, 7, 4, 3, 3, 1. 
And so this is over a 60 day period of time. So if you think about it, one sale over a 60 day period of time isn't really worth it. And so we can pause these keywords down here that are below five orders. So below five orders, above your target ACOS, just turn those keywords off. They're not doing anything for you. And so what I like to do is separate those out. So we'll do that and we'll highlight it. And I just call this my pause keyword area. And then you can find where they are. So they're right here with the ad group that they're in, campaign, ad group, etc. Now the ones that are making a lot of sales and they're not in our target ACOS, we're gonna try to get them to our target ACOS. And so what we do is we're gonna create a little gap here. These are gonna be called our pause move keywords. And then what we're gonna do is take those same keywords and we're gonna call it add keywords. And so this is kind of the order of operations that we're doing with this bulk download is these are keywords that make a lot of sales, as you can see, but they're unprofitable, so we need to get that down a little bit more. And so that's where this keyword bid comes in. And so this is a big keyword for us. This is another big keyword. Again, 80-20. It's 20% it's of your keywords are driving most of your sales. You can see four keywords drive the majority of our sales. So we want to focus on these keywords. And what we're going to do is pause them. This is just a checklist. We're going to pause them first, and then we're going to add them to our buy ad group. And then once we do that, I just kind of check them off the list. These four, I'm going to pause. We're just going to get rid of those. And so let's go do that real quick. All right, so here we are inside of our manual campaign. And what I'm going to do is just find those keywords. So let's go back to here. So this is a competitor keyword. So the competitor keyword will actually stay in the competitor group. We just need to maximize the, the cost per click to 87 cents. And so I'm going to copy this keyword. I'm going to go inside the competitor keyword group. And the reason I don't move it out of the competitor keyword group is because it's obviously a competitor. And so we want to keep it in that competition group. So let's check it out. So again, 87 cents for the phrase version of this keyword. So phrase, and we'll go up to 87 cents. So we've got that one optimized. And again, we didn't move that one because it stayed in the competitor. So I just crossed both of those out. Now this, isn't, this one's already in the buy group. So we just need to maximize the, the keyword bid. So 86 cents. So let's copy this. We're going to go to the buy group. Otherwise, we'd be moving it to the buy group, but it's already there. So we don't need to do that. So let's search for it. And then you can see it right here. And it's the broad version of this. So women's broad, we have it at 11 cents. And it needs to be 86 cents. So again, we didn't have to add this one as it was already in the buy group. So we can just cross it out. This next one's going to be in the competitor again. So let's go back to the competition one. You can see it right here. This is the broad version of it. It can be 91 cents. And again, we don't have to move this one or add it to anything because it's a competitor. So finally, this one, this one's in its own ad group. And so we don't need to move it to the buy group. We just need to optimize the bid again. So we're going to come back here. So this was a, a unique situation where we didn't really have to move any into the buy group. And you can see right there, broad and right here, broad. So we just need to change this to $1.07.
Now what we'd normally do in this situation is we would pause it in the current ad group that it's in, add it to the by group, and by by group I mean this group right here. This is a kind of our, our scale campaign without with a keyword keyword bidding cap and so we're trying to limit how much we spend on that. Now the pause keywords we just need to find those. And so this is the broad version of Ray-Ban sunglasses for women. So you can see the phrase one we did earlier and it's a little different than the broad one. So let's take this one. Go over to the competitor ad group. Do a search. And we're simply just going to pause this as it's not serving us. Polarized sunglasses for women, exact, not really serving us, only three sales in the last 60 days. So we'll come over here to that buy campaign. We'll find it. There's the exact and we're just gonna pause it. And then this one is our brand, so I'm gonna keep that as is. And so that's essentially how you pause and move things around. Um, if you don't want to get as complicated as I just did in moving ad groups, what you can do is this is a great way to figure out what your max cost per click will be. And so when you're playing around inside your campaigns, if you have, let's say, a phrase broad and exact campaign or an ad group, then this is how you figure out your max cost per click or the bid that you want to put on it. So I hope this was helpful in determining what you need to be bidding on in for your keywords inside your Amazon PPC campaign. If you have any questions over this at all, just put that down in the comments below. Also, for written instructions on how I did this, and it's actually another case example that I did for another company that we have, um, and we did a different product altogether, so you can see a different product than sunglasses. You can see us kind of work through that one as well. You can click the link in the description to check that out, and that will take you over to our blog that has step-by-step -step written instructions on everything I went over in this video today. So again, this was step seven in my eight week Amazon PPC masterclass. You can do this step without having taken all the other steps, but if you wanna see exactly how we grow and scale companies and, and our clientele and including our own companies with Amazon PPC, it walks you through the exact process from beginning to end. So make sure you click that, get that free Amazon eight week masterclass. Why would I give something so valuable away for free? It's because my hope is that if you need help with this, I'm here to help coach you. So I do my first coaching call with you for free to see if we're a good fit, and then we figure out where we wanna go from there. So if I can help you out, I'll let you know. If not, then I'll point you in the right direction of someone that can help you out. So you can head to growto1million.com to schedule that free coaching call with me to see if we're a good fit. And also we do this for clients. So we do this for a handful of clients and we'll hop on the call, see if we're a good fit for one another. If not, I'll let you know, and again, point you in the right direction. If you're a good fit for us and we're a good fit for you, then I'll show you and offer you to work with you. And so head to grow to one million.com to check that out. And then again, my free Amazon eight week masterclass is down below in the description and in the comments. If you have any questions over anything I went over today, just let me get, know. Again, Dr. Travis Ziegler, and I wanted to thank you for watching and check out the full SOP at my blog in the description below.